to the chase, evidence-based. Pull up a chair, let's get this straight. Peptide buddy, he's your peptide buddy. Good day, everybody. Happy Super Bowl weekend. In the spirit of pizza, chicken wings, and Sunday night football, we're going to talk about weight loss, specifically with a growingly discussed GLP-1 agonist called mazdatide. Because if you remember, semaglutide's a GLP-1 agonist, terzepatide does the same and also stimulates GIP receptors, and ritatretide also agonizes glucagon receptors. Mazdatide is a novel blend, where it works at GLP-1 and glucagon receptors receptors alike, a new mishmash of sorts. We know that agonizing the glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor improves metabolic features of diabetes and obesity, as well as weight loss by stimulating insulin release, decreasing glucagon release, and slowing gastric emptying, among some other roles as well. The utility of agonizing GIP or glucose-dependent insulinotropic polypeptide receptors is less clear, but is thought to be synergistic with GLP-1. And on top of that, although in its infancy of research, the addition of glucagon receptor agonism is thought to improve energy homeostasis and expenditure, which we discussed on the Patreon in a recent video, but it essentially means to decrease calories in and increase calories out through biochemical and physiologic processes. Now, by the way, if you're still watching, please hit that like and subscribe button. It's the best way to help a peptide buddy out. Thank you very much. Now, moving on. What's interesting is that mazdatide is an analog of a peptide hormone produced in the colon called oxyntomodulin, which is abbreviated as OXM, and that's what we'll refer to it by for simplicity's sake. Now, OXM is a product of the glucagon precursor called proglucagon, and it's ultimately known as a coagonist of GLP-1 and glucagon receptors. And especially since semaglutide has become the hottest thing on the market, this product, which is mechanistically similar, has been looked at by researchers for the same effect, improving features of weight loss and diabetes, not to mention a newer interest in blending GLP-1 agonism with glucagon receptor agonism for further heightened results, and that's pretty much reditrutide's claim to fame. So the Chinese pharmaceutical marketplace, hosted by Innovent Biologics, has crafted mazdatide to be an OXM analog with a fatty acid chain attached, and it's been looked at in the same clinical contexts. And through phase 2 double-blinded placebo-controlled evaluation, weight loss effects seem to be legitimate and dose-dependent, with likely a more limited return on investment as you reach upwards of 6 mg weekly. And as would probably be expected at this point, similar reductions were seen with markers of metabolic risk, like HbA1c, waist circumference, and blood pressure. Most common adverse effects appear to be gas gastrointestinal in nature, diarrhea, vomiting, nausea, and interestingly, upper respiratory infection is noted, which in this quoted trial seems about the same as placebo except in the highest 6 mg weekly group, which is a bit elevated, but in my opinion, it's probably not causatory, something worth considering as a future research is evaluated, but not much else has really pointed at this at all. All in all, weight loss at this point appears to be substantial, not dissimilar for results with semaglutide alone. And as such, phase 3 clinical trials are up and running at Innovent. And so if you want to keep up with the research, you can find the compound listed as IBL362. Some of the results to it, the GLORY-1 trial, are available. The study touted significant weight loss at 4 mg and 6 mg weekly up to 32 weeks with further weight loss achieved until week 48. On top of that, Mazdatai demonstrated superiority to placebo in cardiometabolic endpoints. Moreover, in the DREAMS2 trial where Mazdatai was compared head-to-head -head with dulaglutide, Mazdatai significantly outperformed this other compound in both weight loss and HbA1c reduction. Not to mention the first new drug application or NDA for Mazdatai was accepted by China's National Medical Products Administration for chronic chronic weight management, and Innovent has partnered with Eli Lilly for further research and commercialization of this new interesting GLP-1 glucagon receptor dual agonist. So this is what we got. I was recently asked to look into this peptide. It's really interesting in my opinion, and it's cool to see where the research heads. They've got multiple new trials up and running, so we're definitely going to see some more coming out of this one. If you're looking for a further way to support the channel and more videos on top of that, as well as access to user requests, Take a look at the Patreon. Regardless, and most importantly, I appreciate your time and I thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. Take care. 
cut to the chase, evidence-based, pull up a chair, let's get this straight, peptide buddy, he's your peptide buddy.